our Earth is constantly being bombarded from outer space by high energy particles that we call cosmic rays. They were discovered uh, in the 20th century using photographic emulsions and in fact particles were discovered using cosmic rays. That's how we discovered the, the positron, in fact. Then there's a third family uh, called the, uh, it has the, the bottom and the top quark. And they have a corresponding or heavy cousin of the electron called the tau lepton. Ultimately, our description of nature is just that, a description. Uh, and it's important not to confuse the description with the underlying reality for anything. In quantum mechanics, there is a famous equation called the Schrodinger wave equation. All right, and at that time, this idea that uh, particles had a waviness to them was becoming dominant. Uh, Einstein initially subscribed to it very much. And so Schrodinger came along and said, well, I can write down an equation that describes the behavior of an electron wave, for example. The wave form that came out of his uh, equation, and it's, it's, a, it's a function that has a value at any point in space. All right? it, might, it might be 10 here, and it might be one-tenth over there. It's, it, it's what's called a, it's a spatially varying function. And actually it varies in time. Then along came another uh, German physicist named Max Born, and he reinterpreted this wave function. He said that that is really just a probability wave, all right? And uh, if I take that wave function and I square it, that gives me the probability of finding a particle at this point at, at this time. The kind of wave that we're talking about here is like a crime wave, all right? In a crime wave, you walk into a certain neighborhood and uh, you can have a function that tells you your probability of getting mugged. You're not sure you're going to get mugged as you walk through this neighborhood, but as you go through certain areas in that neighborhood, your probability gets higher. All right? So think of it as, the, as a function that, uh, tell, that tells you your probability of some occurrence. Now I'm using a, you know, the probability of being mugged, but the physicists would say, well, the probability of finding a particle at this point, at this uh, time, with maybe certain properties like you know, a certain momentum. And that's what that wave function is telling you about the system. <laughs>